these are all what we call jump cuts, fast cuts, uh, where there's no transition. Now, this one right here, I think, I think it would look nice for this to cross dissolve into this. And this brings up the effects uh, thing over here. So we're going to start now uh, with this new little segment talking about effects. So you have different things of your media browser, info, effects, markers, history. Most of the time when you're doing editing, you're going to leave this on effects tab down here in the lower. And, and you can twirl these things down. You can pull this little thing up and see what kind of effects you have if you want to. You can see that you've got all these different presets for I mean, all kinds of stuff, blurs. We could get very deeply into this rabbit hole right now, but I'm not going to. We're just getting started. So I'm just going to go in here and use one of them that I use the most. Video transitions is what you'll end up using a lot. you got dissolves and maps and stuff. Listen, folks, I'm here to tell you, if you want to make your video look unprofessional <laughs> with a professional tool, you'll do a whole lot of weird stuff like page peels and stuff like that. Hey, man, I, and you'll, you'll get thinking, oh, this is so cool, and it does crazy, crazy mess like, like that. You know, I'm sorry. To me, that just looks very unprofessional. There may be some applications that you'll want to use that, but let's start in the real world just doing basically a, a few transitions that are fairly accepted nationwide <laughs> and, and and kind of in the in the professional circles. And one of them, if you if you if you go here and dissolves, you can twirl this down and find it's called cross dissolve. It's used so much that it's really it's your default, <laughs> and, and and they already put yellow around it because they know that's the one most people are going to use. Now, now, you can go find these dissolves and these video transitions go down, or you can just go in this little hole right here. This is the way I do it. I just type cross, C-R-O-S, and cross dissolve will pop up down here. And what you do, you just grab that. You, you uh, left-click on it and pull it over your 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 separator in between. See where, where, that, where the cut between these two is? Is, R. The cut is, yes, there. I'm trying to get my English to work. So now what I have, if I hit the uh, space bar here to play, I've got a nice cross dissolve there, don't I? Isn't that nice? All right. Now, probably want another cross dissolve here. Now, this brings up another kind of one of my favorite transitions. Cross dissolve is not bad. Let's do this right here. Okay, let's, at that point, we've established we're at this mill, right? Maybe we want to find that piece of video I have of the dog here. I think there was a dog. And we want to, you know, maybe I'm getting ready to uh, do a story about dogs at the mill. I don't know. <laughs> Or I'm going to, maybe I'm going to interview this guy here, or I'm going to show the uh, crafts. Let's do that. Let's do crafts. So I'm going to put an endpoint here. I'm going to hit the space bar to play this video. Oh, wrong here, sir. You go ahead and explain to him what. Yeah, this is, uh... Let's do. Let's put it in there. Okay, so we got the park service guy telling us what this is. I'm going to put it out here. I'm going to drag, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this video. If I click on this video and pull it down, then it's going to pull down the video and the audio. So watch this. I pulled it down. There's the clip of the guy. Now, let's say I just wanted to pull down just the video and not the audio. Um, let's say for some reason I just want to show him pointing. I'm going to, I'm going to delete this for a second. If I did that, all I want, I can grab this little thing. It just shows the video here, and this pulls just the video, drag video only. Or if I want just his audio, I can pull this and drag the audio down. So let me just pull, let me just show you how that goes. I'm going to pull that down. You saw it just auto saved there. Uh, it, it'll uh, Premiere will auto save. You have some defaults in the preferences, and it'll auto save your project so you don't lose your work. Sometimes that can be aggravating. It's usually it's generally a pretty good thing. So as I'm co coming across this, I see there he shows up and no audio. I could put my own audio there if I wanted to do a voiceover. And there were helpful park service people who were showing us things about how they shaved sticks back in the olden days. So that could be my voiceover. I'm going to go ahead and delete this again. I'm going to pull him back down here. I'm going to grab this, the, the video and pull it down because I do want his commentary on there. And so here we go. And this brings up another transition that, you know, that's pretty common to use. And it's called cube spin. I like to hit cube, C U B E, cube spin, and here it is. So you see this kind of thing a lot, and this is a transition that's usually considered not too, uh, you know, tasteless. There you go. You see that? You've seen that kind of, of transition a lot. Transitions like that that are not peels are, in my opinion, a lot better. They're, and like usually you use a, a, a cross dissolve, maybe there'll be some music or something playing underneath this. 
and you're showing some time elapse where you're trying just to show a dramatic little slice of life type flow. And then usually you use a cube spin when you're getting ready to, to segue into something that's of, of more substance. So that's why you use this one right here. Now, while we're at this, let's just talk for a minute about audio because we're seeing some, uh, some video and we're hearing some audio changes, aren't we? It's like here we had this, this and we can hear the, uh, the river going just a little bit. This gets pretty loud here. You know, do I want this to be this loud? Well, I'm right here where the water's running. I want it to be maybe a little louder than this because of the context of what we're seeing. So I'm going to click on this. This is the audio down here on the bottom. You see this? This says V1. That's for video one. A1 is audio one. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to, I'm going to right click on that audio down there. I'm going to go to audio gain up here in this thing that pops up. And maybe I don't want this to be full level. I want to take it down about five decibels. So I'm going to say minus five. Okay. Now that's going to be a little less obtrusive when it comes across it. Let's watch it. You hear how loud that got? Let's take this one down a little bit too. I'm going to right click on it. Audio gain. Let's take it down. Let's take it down six decibels. Now we should have this. Let's take this one down even a little bit more. Audio gain. Let's go down to well, what's going to happen the second time is it'll see that the gain's already minus five dBs. You have to go here and let's take it down to minus eight. Now let's see what we got. Whoa! I didn't do minus did I? Right click, audio gain. I want ah minus six, minus six. Now we just saw a nice little lesson, folks. There we go. That's much more satisfying to me, sounding that way. So I'm going to do a control save. Control S is save. I always do, uh, whether it automatically saves or not, I try to save fairly often. Now let's say we want some, some nice chilled out music playing behind you. I've got some royalty free music from a company called Digital Juice. I highly recommend them. They have a series called Stack Tracks. They have all kinds of different, you know, you just buy these. I've bought every... Uh, usually they'll go on sale from time to time. So digitaljuice.com, another little pro tip. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna double click inside this window, and I'm gonna find some of my Digital Juice audio. So I happen to know that this my book five here has some of it. So I'm gonna go to my Stack Tracks catalogs. Here are my Stack Tracks catalogs. I'm gonna go for something like Subtle Impact here. This is kind of a nice and. It has a uh, you know 30 second, 50 second, you know 10 second, 15 seconds, uh, 60. This various clips for these various different pieces of royalty free audio. I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna I'm gonna say uh, let's look besides. And I'll have if I do, if I sort besides, I know the longer ones are here first. So I'm gonna get I don't know four or five of these. I don't know which ones will sound nice. Let's go the green tea, maybe introvert. Uh, maybe transcend, floating, afternoon drive, sunset. I don't know which, I don't know what these sound like right yet. I'm going to go ahead and just pull them in, though. I know they're good. <laughs> I've used a lot of these in the past. So now I have my audio here. Now look, it's all kind of interspersed in my video. Here's a nice little tip. If you want to organize what's in your files here a little better, you have this little button called New Bin down here, and it's just going to put a folder in there. I'm going to call this music. Okay. So now I can take all these MP3s. I'm going to go ahead and get them. I see every one of them. MP3, yes, I pulled all these in, sunset. And I'm going to just drag them into music. And now I've got all of them there. That music, I can just keep that folded up so it's not in the way so bad. Now I'm going to preview some of this. Let's, let's try this green tea and see what it sounds like. It's not, it's not bad. Let's try introvert. It's more kind of like a jazz. Let's try sunset. You know, I won't say that that's exactly what I'm looking for, but... Oh, that's kind of nice. Let's try transcend. Now, if I pull the whole file down here, you see that you see there's this is this is grayed out here where the video is because it knows there's no video. It knows it's just an audio file. So, but, it, but it, I could pull the whole audio file down, or I could pull, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds of it in. I might just do that and just clip this and just pull the audio. I can either pull it down from here, 
or I can pull from this little button either way. It doesn't matter. Whoops. Watch me say it. Watch me say that and be wrong. You know what? I am wrong. In the new version of CC, you have to grab this. So we're going to pull this down. So there is my transcend audio, and it's as much of it as I... What I'm going to do, I'm going to have it fade out here where the guy starts to talk. So I'm going to reach over here on the back and pull it in to this point where he's starting to talk. And automatically, I know this is too loud. I do not want it to be that loud. Well, you know what? It's not bad, though, is it? Okay, my guy's getting ready to talk here, and I wouldn't mind if it just kind of trailed out while he's starting to talk. So I'm going to pull this out a little. I'm going to do my C key again, hit my C on my keyboard. I'm going to cut the audio right there, okay? Now, I'd like for this audio to go down. Right now, it's at full level. I'm going to hit the V again, so I've got a pointer key, pointer cursor here. I'm going to click on this part here that I've... This I want this to go down in volume. So I'm going to right-click on this. I'm going to change the audio gain on this to like minus 18 decibels. I want this to really go down. So I'm going to have an abrupt end. This is full volume here. This goes down minus 18. So what do you use for audio transitions to kind of smooth that transition out? Typically, I go over here and I type in constant, C-O-N-S, and constant gain, constant power come up. Constant power is the one you want to use. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to pull it over the audio not the video, but my, my new music down here. Now that's this this is the amount of time it's going to go from full to minus 18. I'd kind of like to smooth that and make it last a little longer, that transition. So I'm going to grab my little cursor here and zoom in on this a little. And you can actually grab the ends of these of these uh, transitions, right? I'm going to click on the transition. Now constant power has just gone white. See that? Now I can go to the end of that and I can pull it out. And now I can tell it over over the space of looks like uh, looks like now over the space of about a second and a half, it's going to go from full volume down to the volume that I want it to be. Now right along in here, I'd like for this to totally fade out, so I'm going to pull another constant power over to the end of it, and that's going to happen pretty quick. But so what's going to happen? We're going to be showing this video. The guy's going to come in. Then it's going to Trail off a little bit, be softer music still there though, and then it's going to fade totally out. So let's see what this sounds like all together. And here, how he's awfully low. I'm going to click on him here. You know, right now I'm clicking on his audio again. I'm going to go in here, right click, audio gain. We're going to boost that up by about seven decibels. Okay, so now it's going to be a little louder when we get to him. This is like a miniature shaving horse. It's called a bodger horse. Where this origin has this origin. Okay, so there we go. So we've already done a good bit of editing, uh, and we've monkeyed with some audio and stuff here. We've done a few transitions. Uh, let's do a little bit of color grading to show you that, and then let's talk a little bit about you know, bringing different kinds of video on here and putting some titles, okay? 